Okay, well, we're here at St. Pete uh, Port, where we're going to be uh, having a, a special guided tour by... Uh, first class Jacob Spilski. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave myself in your hands. I know I'm going to be in good hands, and uh, let's go on the tour. Okay. set sail we'll drop the sail and we'll actually pull the yard arm all the way up instead of pulling the sail down which is kind of cool um, that's done so that the center of gravity is a little lower on the on the ship uh, makes it for a, an easier ride for us as well uh, typically when uh, we're underway we, we try to sail the whole time uh, occasionally if there's no wind or we need to make up time for whatever reason uh, we'll, we'll only set the staysails and we'll motor um, the reason we would set the staysails is, uh, and, and motor at the same time is to prevent too much uh, rocking back and forth uh, and it makes for a slightly faster ride as well. Uh, you can sail closer to the wind that way as well. I'm the uh, foremast captain, which is right here. Uh, there's three mast captains and one cadet in charge. Uh, so when we run these evolutions, we'll have uh, a meeting on the bridge, discuss uh, what we're going to do, whether it's a, a wear or attack. And then each 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 mast has a cadet mast captain and a crew member who is either a second class or first class uh, bosun mate. Um, and we'll coordinate with the, the chief and the bosun who stand out here on the, the boat deck. They'll they'll be the ones uh, to uh, call the, the individual commands. So the bridge will say, you know, commence the wear. The bosun and the chief will uh, tell each mast what to do in, in what order and then they delegate the, the responsibility of getting each of the yards into the appropriate positions to the mass captains and, and the cadets uh, who are helping the mass captains. So it's, it, it takes a lot, there's a lot of extra steps that you wouldn't necessarily need on like a, a modern yacht uh, or one of the larger sailboats out there. Uh, but the main purpose of this is we, we learn leadership and training uh, and how to communicate with our peers and so that our subordinates are our higher level. So it's, it's, adding all those extra steps, it, it might seem a little tedious, but it, there's, a, there's a purpose to it and it, it really helps us uh, kind of mesh together as classes uh, and, and work together with our peers. Uh, over up here we have the, the bow sprit. On that we have uh, four staysails. The, there's jib, uh, three jibs and a staysail. It's actually one of the coolest things you can do uh, when we're underway. Uh, ask permission from the OD to go out there and uh, there's just netting underneath and you can just sit there and kind of like watch how everything is uh, passing uh, for the bow. You know, sometimes we'll have like dolphins swimming alongside. Uh, we've had whales uh, when we were up in uh, Iceland two years ago, which is kind of really cool. Um, this is my uh, third summer on board Eagle. Um, I didn't go uh, my swap summer simply because I had a concussion, but uh, my third class summer I sailed uh, Eagle from London to Iceland, uh, Reykjavik, to Halifax, and then to Boston. 
Uh, last year I sailed from Halifax uh, to Portsmouth to Boston and then this year I'm sailing her from St. Pete to Bermuda then to uh, French Island off of Halifax named St. Pierre uh, to Halifax and then to Boston uh, and then that's my final year as a cadet on board so I'm going to make the most of it. Okay. Alright so uh, we can uh, do you, do you want to go outside first and then go in, or...? Outside, yeah.
18 month trip around the world um, during which cadets actually spent uh, some of their, their time at school was underway um, between the, the various port calls that they made. Here you can see uh, the original uh, construction plate. Uh, you have, it says ship number 508, um, interesting tidbit. Uh, Eagle was actually built alongside the Bismarck, which was uh, ship number uh, 509. Uh, below that you can see when uh, they rebuilt uh, Eagle uh, in uh, Baltimore, uh, we uh, renamed it uh, WIX 327. Uh, here's the, the maiden voyage plaque. Uh, interesting story about the maiden voyage. Uh, when they sailed with a half German, half American crew uh, on their way from Bermuda uh, to, up to the Northeast, they actually hit a hurricane uh, and they were actually really worried that she might not make it all the way through uh, and sh she actually did. Uh, she pulled into New York with uh, rip sails uh, and after that the Coast Guard was convinced that she could handle a meeting so she could handle cadets. our captain's stateroom and then back here probably the most preserved portion of Eagle. Uh, this is the flag officer's stateroom. Uh, the majority of what's in here with the exception of uh, that table and chairs are all original uh, from when we acquired it from the Germans. Uh, when uh, Eagle was retrofitted uh, in the U.S., the uh, yard workers um, there was a lot of uh, animosity towards the Germans after World War II. Uh, they actually uh, tore out all the fixtures, took them home, uh, or simply threw them away. Uh, but back here, they, uh, they, they kept them out of here because it was actually in, in really good shape. Um, in here, the stateroom uh, that actually had uh, been prepared several times uh, for Hitler to actually stay on board. Uh, he ended up not doing so, uh, but he, there were birthday celebrations that were diligently uh, followed uh, when it was still a, G a German vessel. Um, and she gave us uh, several speeches on board as well, uh, because this was the flagship of that uh, uh, sail training fleet. Back on that, that bulkhead, you can see a uh, watercolor painting that's a, that was actually done by uh, Eagles or Gorf Fox, uh original captain. Um, it was kind of cool, something that he drew or painted rather uh, while he was still in command. Uh, this painting uh, on this bulkhead in here is actually of Eagle, uh, the Coast Guard uh, namesake that uh, Eagle was named after. Coast Guard legend. Uh, the uh, the vessel actually went up against a larger English um, warship, and uh, it ran aground. And they actually pulled the cannons uh, onto shore and fired the cannonballs that the British were firing at us back at them uh, because they ran out of munitions uh, and tried to keep her from the English. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, towards the end of that battle, they didn't succeed. Here's the uh, placard with all the commanding officers, uh, former commanding officers. Uh, here you can actually see uh, back then Captain uh, Robert Papp, who's our current commandant of the Coast Guard. Um, several of these uh, captains actually get together regularly at the academy. Uh, they come back uh, to tell us their sea stories, uh, kind of give their perspective on what it means to be an officer and uh, how the Coast Guard is doing. Uh, it's actually one of the more uh, enjoyable presentations that we have as cadets. Um, they have, the captains have grown a very close-knit fraternity and uh, the way they interact is, is, is quite inter entertaining for us uh, cadets. Um, they're very, uh, uh, they can be very informal with each other and it, it helps to break the ice uh, when you have someone of, of such a high rank speaking to cadets. So it makes them um, very easy to listen to and appreciate what they're saying because they can bring it down to our level despite all those years and decades of uh, sea time between them. So, uh, up here, uh, we'll head back to the fantail. Just wait there. Yeah. <laughs> Can't help it. So, here we're on the fantail. Uh, the fantail is primarily reserved for the officers. Uh, when they have downtime, uh, they can meet and discuss uh, their collaterals and 
of duties. Uh, we also do celestial navigation training back here with the chiefs, uh, and my navigation officer, uh, and the captain. Uh, here, uh, this is the aft steering, so if we ever have a casualty on the bridge, uh, we can shift uh, steering back here so that we can continue on our voyage despite any difficulties that we might encounter. When would you use this? Oh, I'm sorry, take Well, okay, this was very informative tour. Uh, I'm sure uh, the viewers are going to enjoy watching this. And we'd like to thank you and we'd like to uh, wish you the best of luck. And we thank you for your service. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. This is Sully 912 News, something else 912.